In this lesson, you should be able to Identify instruments of the Gamelan Ensemble Listen to some Gamelan musical instruments Make connections between musical practices of Indonesia and the Philippines. You will be guided by the following essential question. How is Indonesian music similar to Philippine music? Prince Panji travels to take possession of the heavenly flower, only given to the pure of heart. A gift to the lady of his dreams. But his enemy, King Klana, together with his minions, tried to steal the flower. Chandra Kirana, who was destined to be married with Prince Panji, was abducted by the demons and was left into the forest. Passing through difficult challenges and resolving their differences on religion and kingdom of origin, this becomes a story of struggle to reunite with one true love. Quite a Romeo and Juliet story, except that they lived happily ever after. The story of Panji sums the human experiences, love, loss, despair, endurance, and happiness. The Panji story is popular in the continental Southeast Asia is an evidence of the mighty empires. This narrative became a popular subject in dances, visual art forms, and music. These stories, which depict an intermarriage of the arts, were carved in stones and adorned the temples of Majapahit and Srivijaya. This culture of storytelling will not become successful without a very important element. The Gamelan High into the mountains of Mount Lawu was a mighty king named Sang Hyang Guru. The god who ruled as king of all Java. He needed a signal to summon the gods and he created the gongs. He was not satisfied. So he invented two other gongs. He desired to have a more complex sound to match his complex messages and pursued until he became so happy 
that he created the first gamelan set. The gamelan originated from the Javanese word gamel, which means hammer. These hammers are type of mallets to strike the instruments. The other term used for gamelan is gangsa, which refers to materials used in bronze gamelan construction, which is bronze and tin. The gamelan is a multi-timbre ensemble consisting of metallophones, xylophones, flutes, gongs, voices, as well as bowed and plucked instruments. The varieties are grouped geographically. Two of the well-known are Balinese and Javanese. Balinese gamelan is often associated with the virtuosity and rapid changes of tempo and dynamics. Japanese gamelan is known for a slower and a more meditative quality. Both the Balinese and Javanese gamelan are based from the melodic patterns of Slendra and Palog scales. The Indonesian scales signify a deep spiritual connection grounded from the Hindu-Buddhist religion. Its equal distances between tones reflect the Indonesian psyche of social equality and tolerance in religious and ethnic differences. Moreover, it uses a colotomic structure in its rhythm that shows the thought process of imperial Indonesia, of equal justice system and unity among its people. The instruments of the gamelan are Bonang is a brass kettle-like instrument used in Javanese gamelan which are arranged into string on a wooden frame.
Jan Der is a metallophone both used in Balinese and Javanese music, made up of 10 to 14 tuned metal bars, suspended over a tuned resonator made of metal or bamboo. Kendang is a two-headed drum which its main function is to register the beat. Kenong is a cradle gong similar to the bonang and is an important beat keeper in the gamelan rhythmic structure. Saron consists of seven bronze bars placed on a resonating frame. It usually provides the core melody or balungan in the gamelan orchestra. Another musical group by which Indonesia is identified with is the Angklung. The Angklung is an Indonesian bamboo musical instrument with varied pitches and is shaken with attached bamboo frames. They are sometimes called bamboo shakers and are popular in nearby Southeast Asian neighbors. Playing the Angklung as an ensemble requires coordination and is believed to promote values of teamwork, mutual respect, and social harmony. Like most of Southeast Asian music, it is participatory, relational, and with high regard for egalitarian ethos and communal relations. The word gangsa refers to bronze, which is the metal used in constructing gamelan instruments. In Indonesia, the word gangsa also means the gamelan ensemble itself. In the Philippines, the gangsa of the mountainous cordillera is a set of handheld gongs made of brass and iron. 
a set of gansa, which is played one gong per musician, consists of gansa tuned to different notes. Like the Indonesian gamelan, it is played in an interlocking and colorful mix style. The Indonesian gamelan is related to Filipino kulintangan in Sambo. A variety of gamelan can be found in over 25 countries outside Indonesia, presenting both traditional and experimental repertoire. The kulintangan ensemble of gongs is supported by other instruments such as the gandingan, the bakan, and other gongs such as the agung and the babindil. Like the Indonesian gamelan, kulintangan is more than a medium of entertainment and hospitality for it presents an ideology for social interaction and group solidarity. Music therefore provides everyone a platform to seek for wisdom rooted from the glorious past of the Nusantara which presently includes all the countries in the Southeast Asia. Reminding everyone in this generation that in order for us to become wiser, we need to learn from our musical history. With the glorious influences of the Majapahit and Srivijaya empires, it leaves us a trail of the most important lessons for humanity. In a climate of cultural intolerance, this lesson is a symbol of hope. The idea of being stronger together rather than to separate is a legacy that shaped the modern maritime relations. This is a hope that will allow each nation unprecedented cultural wealth and refinement. Knowing our connections with each other helps us to understand our individual identities and challenging us to keep these connections alive for the next generations to come.
Ha 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 ha!